You ever heard of Dr. Paul Severn? The guy behind these public health initiatives, clean needles, condoms, and all that bullshit? The guy who's all over the TV, endorsing your pal Reverend Goodman for mayor? I got Goodman that endorsement, actually. A few weeks back, Severn and I met up at an auction and found ourselves in a bidding war over a state-of-the-art seaplane. And being the gentleman I am, I let him win. So he got drunk off the thrill of the win, and you got to ask for his endorsement at just the right time. On the money. Problem is, I really wanted that plane. So you're gonna get it for me. You want me to steal a plane? That's not exactly something I can just slip into my coat pocket. Slip it up your ass for all I care. Just go to the marina and do the job. Now! Respectable man in Nevada doesn't need a seaplane. Damn it. Sorry, guys. Nothing stands between a man and his plane. Now for the fun part. like riding a bike. A really big bike. With wings. What did I tell you? She's a beauty, right? Don't you think your friend is gonna be pissed? He's had his chance to enjoy it. You know, I thought you'd put up a little more resistance when I tapped you. Part of me thinks you actually like a little blood on your hands. You don't know anything about me, Frank. Don't waste your time with the innocent Boston altar boy act. I didn't pick you up out of nowhere without looking into you first. You know there's no such thing as a clean slate. See you around, Jason. Yeah? Hey, fly guy. 
Hey, Ronnie. Nice job with the plane. How do you know about that? I told you, I know people. Listen, you ever want to show off your piloting skills, go see my friend the Aviatrix. True story? I have no idea what her real name is. Like, I actually address her like that. Anyway, go see her sometime. I might do that. Later, Tater. country hmm? from my native land of England. And it is not disappointing. America has provided me with so many blondes, redheads, brunettes. So I say hooray to America, and hooray to having a charming English accent. you do a little recon for me. Last night the feds impounded Frank's chopper for uh, legal reasons. Nothing serious, don't worry. I'm not. Thing is, there are a few items on the chopper that Frank would prefer not to get into the wrong hands. Hopefully they haven't had a chance to search the plane. What am I looking for? A USB thing. It's under the passenger side seat, I think. Does Frank know about this job? Maybe he does, and maybe he doesn't. The important thing to remember here is that if you don't get back that thing, you're like, dead and stuff. Anything else? That's all. <laughs> You'd be surprised what those little things can store. I mean, hundreds of photos. Just call me when you get back from the airport. So now I gotta clean up the goons' messes too. Great. The club is a dirty place. Sometimes after a night of dancing, I leave smelling of cigarettes and beer. Sometimes I leave covered in the sweat of strength. We apologize for the interruption as we bring you breaking news. A high-tech seaplane belonging to Dr. Paul Severn, advocate for the disenfranchised, was stolen from the Vegas Marina. Larry Stevenson, a dock worker, stated earlier, that one second it was there, the next second it was gone. If anyone can find and recover the plane, the good doctor is offering a reward of $3,000 and a Shetland pony. So hit the streets and keep your eyes peeled. We'll have more later if we have more later. Forensics guy we're waiting on? No time to search the thing.
I thought security was messing with me when they told me you were coming in for a landing. Way to go above and beyond. I don't think the Fed's got a chance to search her. That thing's probably where you left it. Man, this is good. Real good. Yeah, well, I'd get this bird out of plain sight if I were you, and maybe a new paint job. Good idea. <laughs>